Hey fam, I want you to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Roland S. Martin, and don't forget to turn on your notifications. Across the country, black and poor communities face dangerous levels of pollution, toxic air, and water in Flint. The water crisis is the only one example. An estimated 70% of the country's contaminated waste sites are located near low-income housing, and the EPA estimates that 1.5 million people of color live in areas vulnerable to contamination. We're talking about what needs to be done about environmental racism with Mustafa Santiago Ali, former senior advisor for environmental justice at the Environmental Protection Agency. Um, first and foremost, we've seen this conversation around the Green New Deal, and Republicans want to act as if it's no big deal that... You know what? Hey, I don't really see what the problem is, but this is a significant issue if you're poor because, trust me, uh, in communities with credit score of 700 or above, above, you're not seeing environmental dumps. That's right. Yeah. I mean, your zip code determines how long you will live, uh, what types of diseases that you'll probably have to deal with. In our country, 200,000 people die each year prematurely from air pollution. Mm. We got uh, 25 million folks who have asthma, 7 million kids, and disproportionate is African-American and Latino children who are the ones who are losing their lives. The NAACP had a report that came out called Cold-Blooded that shared that 68% uh, of our folks live within 30 miles of a coal-fired power plant. And we know that that pollution that's impacting our communities is also that same pollution that is now warming up the planet and causing all these crazy things that are going on with climate change. And again, when we're having this discussion about the Green New Deal, mm -hmm. it, there's just sort of this, this uh, slam your head into the sand and acting as if these things are not happening, as if uh, climate change, ah, uh, look, this, this stuff. Then you, got, then you got Trump joking, hey, it's cold. Where's that climate change when we need it? <laughs> I mean, this is, I mean, you literally have uh, a major piece in Antarctica that's about to split in half. You are seeing um, uh, things in, in uh, Antarctica and other places that we've never seen before because it's getting warmer. Yeah, I mean, trillions of gallons of ice has melted, and that's changing the dynamic that is going on in our oceans. And, and we have some just like, um, just incredible different dynamics that are going on um, with the floods that are happening. You know, before you used to see 50 year floods, 100 year floods, now you're seeing 500 year floods. And what folks don't realize it is that is our communities, communities of color, low income communities, and indigenous populations who are being hit first and worse because of these types of things. But how do we also get our folks to focus on this issue? Because look, mm -hmm. Uh, you, if you had to do a list of the top five, top ten, mm -hmm. environmental racism is not going to be on that list. Mm -hmm. uh, and this impacts health. Yep. You could talk about police brutality, you could talk about education, you could talk about all those things, but what's in your air, what's in your water, mm -hmm. uh, frankly, can impact whether you can actually read or write. It impacts your learning, impacts your health, impacts uh, your uh, viability in terms of your uh, 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 length of life. Yeah. I mean, you raise an interesting point. So, you know, folks were talking earlier about Nipsey and, and being shot. More folks are dying um, because of air pollution who are dying from gun violence. Gun violence is super important. We should be focused on it. More folks are dying every year from air pollution who are dying in the wars that are happening around our planet. So your question is, how do we get our folks more engaged in these issues? One, I would say that the environmental justice movement has been going on now for over 30 years. So there are all kinds of folks of color who are focusing on these issues. Now, we can have a conversation about the resources that need to go to those organizations to help them to better be able to spread the message in a way that resonates with their communities. When I was with the Hip Hop Caucus, one of the things that was important there was how we utilize culture uh, to make sure that it was connecting with the impacts that are happening, but also the opportunities and how we change the dynamics that are happening inside of our communities. So we work with all kinds of artists and entertainers who are using their platforms to be able to share. So, you know, when we were both recently in L.A. at the Image Awards, Beyonce was there. So when the hurricanes came through Houston and Beyonce began to talk about the impacts that were happening inside of communities, folks began to get on their phones and check out the dynamics that were happening in that space. When you have folks like Antonique Smith, who took one of Marvin Gaye's songs before and remade it and began to share with people how prophetic he was, but also her own vision on these issues, it changes the game because our people see folks who look like them, who come from their communities, who they can connect with, and they begin to have a better understanding. You know, people talk about Flint, but we were talking about Baltimore a little while ago and Freddie Gray and him being impacted by lead. So when people begin to see themselves reflected
reflected in these conversations, when they see themselves reflected in the organizations who are working on these issues, that's how we begin to change this narrative. And I would just sort of touch on one of the things that you shared with us. There's recent polling now that shows that healthcare issues, yes, yeah, number one, but climate is also becoming one of those top issues that people are looking at. And I hope that people will understand that the drivers in climate change are coming from our most vulnerable communities. When you look at those fossil fuel facilities, they are located inside of our communities. When you look at the transportation routes that people have used over the years to separate our communities, to take wealth out of our communities and move it into others, the emissions that are happening in that space are the ones that are driving up climate change. When you look where the fossil fuel pipelines are, they're running through our communities. You can look just down the street in Buckingham County in Virginia, founded by freed slaves, and Governor Northam was not getting engaged in that process to actually stop this community from having mm -hmm. a natural gas compressor. So when people see themselves and they see that people are pushing back, but people are also thinking critically about how to make change happen, I think that's when we start to win this dynamic. Somebody who's watching for some social media, they want to know uh, where should they go to get more information and what groups could they join or align with? Who would you recommend? Oh, there's a ton of groups. I would say to Google the environmental justice organizations that are out there, there are a number of networks that are across the country. You have WEAC, you have UPROSE who are both in New York. You have the um, folks in California with the California Environmental Justice Alliance who are out there. Um, or you can go to the Hip Hop Caucus, who's also doing work, or you can go to the National Wildlife Federation. There are a number of organizations that are now focused on these issues. All right, Mustafa, we surely appreciate it. Thank you so very much. All right, folks, back to our whole mark unfiltered video in just one moment. So you have plenty of pictures in your home, but you've never seen anything like this before. Introducing Easy Tiles, the world's first photo tiles made of sleek and ultra lightweight glass. Easy Tiles makes it super simple. You use their exclusive app for iPhone and Android to upload as many photos as you like. Then they print them on tempered glass. Your order arrives on your doorstep in just a few days. And that's when the real fun begins, because with Easy Tiles, you transform your living space with a gallery wall that will amaze each and every guest. Easy Tiles are even simple to hang, no hammer and no nails. Cleo could even do this. And because they're mounted on small risers, they appear to float on your wall. <laughs> Folks, they're easy to order, easy to hang, and guaranteed for life. Now, you can save 30% on any size order, plus get free shipping on orders of four or more. Just download the free Easy Tiles app at easytiles.com and turn your best memories into beautiful glass wall art. Plus, save big now with this special offer. That's easytiles.com, easytiles.com. Now back to your Roland Martin Unfiltered video.